Welcome to Tech Drill. Today we are going to discuss about one of the exciting feature of GitHub Copilot which got released in the last week in preview. This new feature called Agent Mode is right now available in VS Code Insiders and is in preview. GitHub Copilot's new Agent Mode is capable of iterating on its own code recognizing errors and fixing them automatically. In agent mode, Copilot will iterate not only its own output, but the result of the output. If there is an error, it try to fix it. Instead of performing just the task we requested, Copilot now has the ability to infer additional tasks that were not specified but are related or necessary for the primary request of the work. Till now, Copilot was guiding the developers in the form of a code completion and chat where developer will ask for a support, Copilot respond to that support request. But now, with this agent mode, Copilot is holding the keyboard and contributing directly to your development. Agent mode is completely shaping how we are going to code with Copilot. There are n number of use cases of agent mode. In this video, we are going to cover one use case that is how to generate a new project with the help of agent mode in GitHub Copilot. We will cover some of the use cases in the upcoming videos. Let us focus on new project today. I am in VS Code Insider with a blank folder open here. Let me start asking Copilot. It's a normal chat. I am asking Copilot how to create a new Angular app. So I'm going with a new Angular application. You can add your own application based on your requirement. It can be a .NET application or any other kind of application. So let me just give the new application as market dashboard. So this is the Angular application I needed. Normal Angular scaffolding is going to happen here where I'm going to select the CSS or style requirements and any server side rendering requirements. And it's going to iterate through the requirements and create a new Angular application. We have the Angular application generated by the scaffolding mechanism. This is the application. Let me just close the current folder and open the new application folder. I'm going for a new terminal to install all the dependency requirement. npm install and go ahead and start my application. The application is available at 4200 that's a local host port it's opened. It's a default application with uh, some data from Angular scaffolding area. Now let us go ahead and modify this application using agent mode. First of all, we need to enable the agent mode in Copilot settings. Go to VS Code settings and search for agent. You have this option chat agent enabled. The agent mode is enabled as of now. Once it's enabled, go to Copilot edits and you have the option to select agent or edit. Right now we are using agent mode with the cloud A as the model. Now let me pass a prompt for generating a new application based on our requirements. Here the currently scaffolded Simple Angular application needs to have a new dashboard beside displaying market share details. That's my requirement and I captured most of the elements here. Now Copilot agent start updating first the packages and it's run the command. There are 
chart needs to be installed. Let me just go ahead and continue with this one. It's went ahead and installed the chart. As you can observe, the agent is not only really suggesting the code, it's helping me to install some of the dependencies. Once the dependency completed, it created a market share JSON file with the data and asking me to generate a service. Continue, indicating that I am fine with the service generation. In Angular, we use services for accessing any underlying data. Here, Copilot went ahead and created a service and modifying the service for accessing the JSON data, which we created. Now we are adding a market dashboard component, which can display the data from services or the asset folder. So it's installed the dependency that says start.js. It's created a JSON file with the data. It went ahead and created a service for accessing this data. With the help of terminal, it generated a component and now it's updating the component. The TS is completed. Now it needs to look for the HTML part of the component. And now it's updating the HTML area. If you observe this screen, you can see in between problems will be reported here and Copilot identify that and fix it. Similarly, any errors comes in the terminal also. Copilot looks at that and try to fix it. That's the beauty of agent mode. It's going in an iterative manner, not only really looking for the requirement, it's looking for the code it generated, an existing code and see whether any kind of errors or anything is there. It's added the configuration and routing right now. That's the HTTP support is added. Routing configuration is set in the app routes. Now the main components where we need the link to the dashboard getting updated that particular file. You can observe that right now seven files got added, either added or updated. Some of the files required edits, some are the new files. It's getting generated and added to the project. So it's adding a link, navigation link in the app component to dashboard. And in each iteration, as part of each iteration, Copilot agent is trying to see whether there is any error reported in terms of a reference or not implemented kind of errors then it's trying to modify the code accordingly. Here you can see there is a 17 problems reported and it's uh, applying the edit on top of that to ensure that these errors are addressed properly by Copilot agent. Here agent is not only really just acting for generating the code, it's looking at the overall application, the requirement and the generated code and the compatibility issues. If you have version compatibility in terms of any kind of modification issues, Copilot iteratively handle that and try to address each and every issues. Now Copilot completed the navigation one, continue the iteration. So if it takes more time, it will ask the user whether to continue or it's hold it there itself. So I specified to continue. If it takes more time, then only it comes that question. Now it's going to update the TS. Continue updating the dashboard template. Styles are getting added. Default styles get updated as part of the dashboard component. Now it's going for validation error. This new component, if there is an error or not, it's validated. Great, there is no error. The dashboard implementation is completed. That's what Copilot is claiming. Let us go ahead and start this project. Sometimes if you have the proper prompt, it even the Copilot asks you to start at the end of the implementation. So let me just navigate to this particular one. 
this is the new screen so you can observe the above area is the existing one but it's added the pie chart and the dashboard and it's have a link the data is appearing properly you have the data of 10 IT companies with the proper labels and all if the same is represented in the bar chart so let us go for one more iteration this time I'm asking copilot to modify the app component with link to a new page where dashboard will be loaded so I'm still continuing the same session once you get, complete the session a complete implementation you can accept everything and there is a done button will come you can say I have completed my work kind of thing here I am going for the second iteration of modifying the app component to give a link to a new page again I used agent mode so that agent can go ahead and apply the edits so it's understand that the app component contain a default angular welcome content it's better to remove these things even copilot is able to sense that right now the welcome content is part of my app component that needs to be removed copilot trying to edit or remove this default content it's done with the html portion that's a place the default content is loaded and adding the unnecessary codes from the ts that's also completed and checking for any errors in our changes app component ts with errors and let me generate a co home component I don't know why they need a home component right now let us see how it will be it's provided the reason as um, the home component is added for root routing so the main home component will be act as the main page and all the components gets loaded there the HTML of the new component is created and it's went for a TS file for the new component and let me go ahead and run the new application there is an error so obviously the copilot will look at the error and try to fix it there is an error in the app component template it is still trying to use title property with the no longer exists let me fix that by removing it so it's going ahead and fixing that error message and you can see these problems are moving there are five one and it's getting updated so now this fix is done let us navigate to the site you can see that the new site where you have a welcome to IT market analysis click on this one you have the IT company details in a pie chart and bar chart and there is a proper home and market dashboard navigation setup and it's removed the default content our website looks great copilot agent is nicely did the entire coding of this website using two separate prompts the first prompt created the base thing the second cleared the unwanted startup areas and modified the entire thing with the proper navigation system this is the power of github copilot agents you are there to assist or guide the copilot instead copilot is guiding you the copilot is driving the development or holding your keyboard and doing the work for you once you are satisfied with everything you can accept the things and say this entire session is completed done unlike chat you don't have a history or anything once done means you completed that session 
Let us have a quick view on the kind of code it's generated. The JSON data is available here. Under apps, services are added. It's captured the data from market share data service. Okay, service is added here with a link to asset folders JSON where get market data is there. This is the testing area. It's added even the spec for testing each of the things. Uh, market share also tested properly. Now, if I go to the dashboard element, the dashboard is here with a pie chart and a bar chart and the TS code for loading the charts. The first chart is a pie chart is loaded, then a bar chart is getting loaded. And obviously it internally used the market data service. The service is used for getting the data and it's added the home component for setting up a proper home from where you can navigate to dashboard. It's added some of the test cases here, which we will be exploring as part of our next video. Try to explore this great feature of GitHub Copilot that's the agent mode right now available in VS Code Insiders and share your feedback. Thank you.